from ManchesterInkLink.com, here's Carol Robidoux. All right, from Manchester Inkling, Carol, good morning. Hello, Carol. Carol, are you there? Hello. Hi, oh, Carol. Okay. There I'm she. here. Yeah. I, I found the, I found the problem with the Facebook audio. I found the problem, and it, and it was a, yeah, a it, was, it was a wire I that was just out. Oh, oh, oh. It, yeah. I hate when that happens. Yeah, like yeah, someone I, stepped I on a wire. To, I resorted to listening to the radio online. Okay. Okay. After 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 almost giving up. Right. See, there we go. Thank you, Michael Albert. I see, Michael Albert. Look at that. You did it. You did it. I did it. So, uh, <laughs> good morning to you, Carol. Everything all right over there? Everything's all right over here. Now, big day today. Cool. Big day. Big day downtown yeah. today. Got a lot going Super on. Big. There is a lot going on. And believe we got there the. Uh, so much where do you want to start? I don't know. Veterans I mean, Park tonight, well, right? We should start. We should start with yeah, the concert because that's like the everybody. I had a lot of people asking. Uh, they couldn't find the information on on the um, on Facebook or anywhere, so um, I resorted to posting it. Uh, not that I wouldn't have, but I I reposted it. I got it. I got all this from in town and got it up there, and um, yeah, and and our friend uh, Christian. I forget his last name. He's probably listening. Sorry, Christian Lacoste is going to be opening, uh, opening. So he's so super excited about that. Right. He's got, we we got him coming on the show in a couple of weeks, I think. Next week. Yeah. Next week, I think. Yeah, yeah. So the so the the music will line up. It's going to be Foreigner's Journey tonight. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, Foreigner's Journey tonight. Yeah, that's a big. That's a big. Uh, that, that's big, a big that's draw. A just Justin yeah. Pacey's no longer with that band, huh? I don't know. I don't think he is. I wasn't sure. I know he's doing a bunch of yeah. other stuff. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, so that's that's. If you had to choose, stuff. though, if you had to choose, would you pick Foreigner or would you pick Journey? Oh, Foreigner, I think. Foreigner. Really? Okay. I think so. I mean, I like I like some Journey songs. Priscilla. But, but I think Foreigner really. Foreigner. Really. Really. Foreigner. Okay. How about you? What did you say? I I, I didn't say anything. I'm having <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm having a hard time thinking about it. Journey's just too really? bubblegum, I think. Well, Journey got bubblegum, but they weren't always no, bubblegum. No, they weren't. No, they were. They, they were. They had some really good songs. Before yeah. Steve Perry was in the band, That's before the before good. before Journey became what they were with Steve Perry in the late '70s and early '80s, they were. A, I mean, they were like a almost a. I don't know. They were very, very, very rocky, very guitar-y, very almost kind of. I don't know. They definitely had their own sound, but they changed with uh, when Steve Perry came. Should have been gone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, thank so you. Did I sound, did I sound like Steve, Did I sound like Steve Perry there? There wasn't enough no. emotion. <laughs> he, he, there was no answer. He has, he has he has pain in his voice when he when he sings that. R- right. Oh, Sherry. Now they got the little yeah. Korean guy. It's not even. He's not even Korean. So I don't know you don't even know. You, you just. Uh, how do you? He's not Korean. I thought he was. No. Where is he? He's like Filipino or something. But yes, exactly. Oh, maybe, yeah. And don't say it's the same thing, Scumpy. Well, Asian. How about if I? Spell well, no, that? that's not the same thing either. All right. Sure it is. All right. Anyway, so we have the farmers market, which kicks off at three, um, and then we have free yoga in the in the plaza. And you can bring your own mat if you want to. They probably will have some mats. Where is this yoga um, taking place? Right there in Stanton Plaza. Right there where, where everything else is happening, where the farmer's market oh, is well, at 530. Okay. Yeah, All right. White Swan Yoga Studio will be there. To uh, it's gonna They're going to rotate between a few different uh, studios. Uh, yoga, uh, White Swan today, or, and then next week it will be maybe Bar Life or the training station. They're going to mix it up. They'll also have... Uh, tai Chi, boot camp, kickboxing, all different stuff. So you can you can get a little fitness in, squeeze a little fitness in while you're while you're shopping and then waiting for the concert. I think you just need to go downtown around three and expect to be down there till at least ten. Yeah, Priscilla, are you That's... working? Are you working today? I will be. Yes. Because it's going to be a big day, uh, big Thursday afternoon uh, and evening downtown here in Manchester. I think I'll be bartending. Oh, fantastic! On the app here, so. Oh wow! Very good. Um, also, if you uh, want to come down here, I believe the trolley's running tonight, correct? Yeah, trolley is running tonight. Wow, so this and, is just... Uh, and it's got, 
Yep, there's going to be um, stops at a bunch of different art studios. The art gallery has um, is going to be open. Um, uh, Studio 550, I think. I think tonight is they're going to have chalk drawing uh, competition. I think that's tonight. If not, you can at least check out the studio. How many people um, turn? To, just, how many people turn out? Sign up for that. Chalk probably drawing. more for kids. I don't know. Yeah, definitely good for the kids. Oh, it's not an adult activity. It can be. Well, you can. I, I think it can be. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know any adults yeah. that'd be like, oh, I can't wait to get out there with my <laughs> chalk. Really show yeah. them what I get. Really show them what I get. You never know. Right. <laughs> yeah, so so really there's no reason to, to, to stay home. There's no reason. And it's, it looks like a gorgeous day. Perfect day for all of that. So... Oh, it's a, it's a perfect storm, if you if if you will. We have the trolley. You, you yeah. have you have the concert. I mean, it's just so much going on. And great weather. Great weather is right. Yeah, yes. that's a bonus. I can You know, this is what we're going to be saying in a few months. Remember those few weeks in July where it was just <laughs> nice. Perfect. Right. Yeah. Right. Because the rain the rains come sometimes in August. Things get washed out. Right. In right. my in, to my recollection, that seems like how it goes. Yeah, the days start to get shorter, and it's, you know the and no yeah. those those you know those are the dog so days of summer, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but most people don't put their dogs outside; they keep them in. Right. Yeah. Yes, very clever with the words, the wording with that, Carol. I make. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, so we also had um, some more people file for for uh, office yesterday. We had. Um, Let's see, 17, no, 11 more people. Wow, That's wow. List. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, any excitement? Um, you know, I'll be running for something. Well, I haven't decided 100%. You're going to run for something? Yeah, they wanted me to for the Manchester Republican Committee. Oh, I boy. think I'm going to run uh, for moderator because I go, I don't have enough time for That's anything a great, else. That's <laughs> a great place to start, a moderator. Yeah. Get your feet wet. That's right. So, so Tony Sapienza, he's going to be back. Ward 5, he's, I mean, back in the race. He, he may not meet, uh, beat Marcus Ponce de Leon, but um, he's, he filed yesterday. So um, Tony's in, in the game again. Okay. Um, Candace Moulton has uh, filed for school committee. She's going to, uh, she's put her name on the ballot next to Arthur Beaudry. He's okay. been on the school committee pretty much forever. Right, and I think the, for um, the past few years, uh, Committeeman Beaudry hasn't even been challenged, right? He, it's just been a, uh, been a kind of a free yeah, ride. Yeah, I, I feel like everybody should get a challenge, but, you know, you can't always muster a candidate. Um, right. Ward 10, uh, we know that Bill Barry was uh, first in line, but now we have a gent named Raymond Hebert. Yes, I, filed to I think he ran last time. Uh, he ran a couple years ago or, or four years ago. Okay. Um, I'll take your word on that. Uh, Gary Hamer for Selectman. Oh, Gary Hamer. Up. Oh, yes. We know Gary. Yep. And uh, Ward 11 Alderman race is, uh, is starting to get crowded. We had uh, Norman Gamash yesterday joined uh, Andre Rosa and Chloe Sowers. And now we have Russ Willette, who's, who's uh, back in the game. He was uh, a long time or has served as Alderman in the past. Yep. So he's back in. And um, then we have a couple more people who want to be on the Charter Commission, uh, James Goddett and Ross Terrio. So that's how it's shaping up. We'll get some more names up there today, I'm sure. And um, we, yeah. we, have, so, we, we, have an, uh, we have a guest uh, tomorrow that's going to be announcing his uh, run for mayor. Ooh, okay. So you're going to you're gonna have to stay tuned, though. I can't reveal it right oh, now. Yeah. No, please don't. I love the suspense. Yes. Oh, don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, so last night I, I uh, went over to the Eversource uh, Energy Park and uh, got to chat with some of the people there. They had a, an announcement. They re revealed the um, Insider's Guide to Manchester, which is an online publication, the first of several that are going to be published by Stay Work Play. And the idea here, now you remember a couple years ago, 
uh, Will Stewart, who's an alderman, but he also is the uh, executive director of Stay Work Play. He released a book called An Insider's Guide to Manchester. I have, it in, I have it in my hand right now. Right. Yeah, and, and so this is uh, sort of an extension of that. The idea of that book has now become a sort of a statewide initiative, and it's an online publication and that we have uh, a copy of it posted right online so you can you can breeze through it and this is the first of several that will be rolled out and um, the idea is that it's going to be a actually a you know a, a maybe a, a recruiting and retention tool for employers who can actually show employees the benefits of coming and, and living and working in New Hampshire in this case in Manchester so you can you can scroll through and see they have all sorts of resources, you know how to where how to get around, how to park, where to park, uh, the transportation scene, where to shop, how where to get good food, and what's available. And these can be updated, unlike the book, you know when things come and go. So it's a really cool thing to to have, and I think um, everybody will benefit from it. It's not exclusively for businesses or young professionals, but that's the hook right there. So um, so check that out. I think that's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah. I love this, man. Just, I, I'm looking at this. I haven't looked at it in a while. The Insider's Guide, the original one. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. You know what's fun it's about great. this now is, is some of these things aren't even here anymore. Yeah, yeah. And, that's, and that's not very old either. Yeah, it's about two, yeah. two, two, years, old. two yeah. years old maybe. It came out in late 2016, yeah. So, so um, th th that's what's changed also is that it's now an online publication and you can access it right on your phone so you can breeze through it to see what, you know, what's going on and it can be changed if, as businesses come and go. It's a collaborative effort between Stay Work Play, uh, the Chamber, and Eversource. And um, it's really great. It's a really great idea. Yeah, I think that's great. Now, yeah, get, so hey, guess who, I know. I know who was there last night. Was Mike Cashin there? Yeah, Mike Cashin was there. Well, a the lot of people were there. Well, the only reason yeah, I ask is I, I I talked to him yesterday via Facebook Messenger. Oh. And uh, and I had uh, I had uh, asked him. I'm, I'm going to have him on the show. And he's like, Why do you want me on the show? And I just said, uh, <laughs> No, I just told him though. I think it's a great thing that he's. You know, it's a very unique uh, business uh, idea that he had, and I and I and I like that. I see it. I see it. You know, going on gone going on in some other. Uh, you know, towns and stuff, but it, it's great to see the pedicab down here on Elm Street. Have you, have you taken it for a spin yet? I have not. I I've actually physically haven't met him. Oh, Peter, we, we should go for a pedicab ride. I know. I told him I'd flag we can go him to down. The pizza joint. Right. We can. That's how yeah. we're going to get to where we're going to do that starting in September. We're going to put this down after the All summer. Right. We are going to do this on on a Thursday or or something. We got to do it. Our pizza I mean, tour. Peter, the seriously. pizza tour. Are you, are you around today? Am I around today? I'm not sure yet. Because I was going to say, like, I have his hotline. You know, all I need to do is text him. It's sort of like putting out the bat signal. And really? he comes wherever I am. So we could do, like, a, a you know, a, a five-minute tour just so, you, just so you've experienced it before he gets there. Right. Unless you want to wait and meet him in person, you know, on air. Well, but I was thinking, well, we're going to do, before for the summer's over... Five, yeah, before the summer's over, and we're gonna do a, a show out. I, we're gonna do a show out here on the corner, like we do every year, uh, the, on the yeah. corner of Concord and Elm. And I think that'd be a great, great time to have him popping in, and 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 uh, you know, could take Scumpy for a ride, and Scumpy can come back and talk about it. Yeah. Would you be embarrassed okay. to take a pedicab, Scumpy? Not at all. Okay, good. Nope. With Easy G. Why? Well, not why at would all. It, why would? Oh, I don't and know. You have to have to be ready to tell him like what music you want to hear because he puts it on and and he blasts your favorite tunes while you're riding in the pedicab does it's he have great. any does he have any defcon <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure if he doesn't right I'm sure you could send it to him and he'll yeah. put it in right next. it'd be yeah. great to hear some he defcon it would be yeah <laughs> it really you would could be do it. You, could, you know what you could do when's your anniversary scumpy did it already pass in june yeah why do I know uh, that? Why do I know that? You know that because we... We just it. had the game. Right. Well, no, Scumpy yeah. got... We, we renewed Scumpy and Mimi's wedding vows right here on the show for their 20th anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah, that was a couple of years ago now. Right. Yep. But I, I couldn't... I wouldn't have remembered what month it was. I should have. 
But I was going to say you could surprise. It's actually the first people. day of summer. Okay. Oh, the 21st. So like yes. June 21st. Yeah, you could surprise Mimi, get Mike to put DEF CON on his mix, and then you could just be like downtown with Mimi, and then and then he'll show up to pick you up, and then you could go on a cool ride, a romantic ride around the city with Mimi blasting DEF CON. That would be so romantic. That would be cool. Right, right up and down Elm Street. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, how, do those, all around. how do those pedicabs down, work now? Yard. How do those pedicabs work? Like, I, I know he gets it going by pedaling it, but doesn't it get easier as you get going? No, he, he struggles up the hills. His, his thighs must be like rock. I don't know how he does it. He's, it's amazing. Right, so that, that must, that's a tiring job. It's good. Oh, wicked physical. Yeah, seems, you're not kidding. Riding seems, a bike all day? Yeah. It's, With all the weight on the back, it. though? I know. Wow. I feel, I feel bad a little bit. Just a little. But he loves it. A little. Well, I still think it's a great uh, a great thing. But wow, that is a lot of that's a lot of work though. It is. I don't know if I could do that. I told him he what he needs though, I think, is some sort of a sign to let people know like you can hop on and also maybe that suggests, you know, I work for tips or suggest it. Because he does you know it's, it, you see it if you don't know that he exists in advance. You're not sure if you if you can get a ride. I think or not. Like it's, right. I don't think it's that obvious, and I think he needs that because a lot of people look and they they're they're fascinated, but they don't know that they can just yeah. They get think in. it's a guy that's just riding his bike up and down the yeah, street. They just yeah, just some guy with a really weird bike. Yeah, you know, and sometimes he's in some extravagant costumes. So. Um, they might just think he's, you know, escaped from somewhere. But hey, um, yeah. we've seen stranger things going on around here. Oh yeah, that's true. But I, it's it's a really it's a really fun way to see the city in a different way, and um, you just kind of feel like the cool kid when you're in there. Everybody's looking at you. I, I always wave at everybody, and they kind of just you wave, wave you wave at, at everybody. Yeah, I wave at people as I go by, like, oh, hey. Let me you ask know? you this. Hey, Were you, me. Let me ask you this. Were you waving at Brooklyn Mike this morning over at Dunkin' Donuts on Eddie Road? I did not, waving at him with that one finger? Him. What's that, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see him. I, didn't, I wasn't out there. Well, he called today. in earlier this morning because he was sitting in the parking lot, and he was just drinking his coffee, and some he got a random middle finger from somebody. <laughs> oh. For terrible. no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Wow, what's wrong? I don't with know. People? I think that's so funny. That's what he was saying. He's like, "What is wrong with people?" <laughs> he wasn't even hey, doing that's... anything. <laughs> well, I hope he makes out okay at the chiropractor, and if that didn't ruin his day. Yeah, I missed all that because you there the, there was a radio silence. Yeah, there was a wire unplugged here. Someone kicked out a wire, and I had to fix it. So uh, yeah, it happens. But it's all fixed, Carol. Don't worry. I was worried. I know. So you're going to be downtown later today, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to. I would love. To, I know you're not gonna, but I would love to. Well, what do you mean you know I'm not gonna? Coffee. I just don't have. I I don't, I don't know how long I'm working here today. I know, but we never seem to. You know, our our plans never materialize. Well. Yeah, the pizza tour has been on hold for about three years. Now. Well, no. It, it, <laughs> okay. It sounds good. Though. Well, she eats at it a does. different time than me. That's why. I don't know. Really? I'll, I'll eat any time, Peter. Right. I have no rules well, about we have, that. I know, but we have to wait till you bring Jim to work and all that stuff. And then, oh, you know, by the time... I know, I'm just kidding. I know you are, and that's okay, because that's, that's how you are. Yeah, that's how but I deal uh, with things. That's okay. Thank you. So Jupiter Hall has an, uh, an event coming up next Friday. It's called Songwriters in the Round. And it's going to feature three performers. Paul Nelson, who's performed at Jupiter Hall before, Ali Beaudry, who we all know and love, and, and a, a young woman named Kristen Cefeli, who I'm not familiar with. But um, this sounds like it's going to be an intimate evening of, you know, Ooh. songwriters probably talking about how the process and, and what, you know, what, how they wrote particular songs and then play them and all that. And um, the live music event, tickets are just 18 bucks. And... You know, you can't beat the Jupiter Hall uh, experience because it's um, it's just a lot of fun. 
to be there. It's, it feels like a, a little club when they set it up like that. They have usually have terrific refreshments and um, you know, beer and wine in the back. And uh, it, it reminds me, has anybody watched that, that show that was on uh, TV called Song? Song I can't think of it. It's mm. like Song Songtown or Songville or something where like songwriters come in and they try to pitch a, a oh, no. song. Oh, no. I have not people. seen. Maybe maybe Def Con should try that out. You right? Maybe. Yeah, it's interesting. They have like record producers there, and then a, and then a star like Will I Am or or Megan Trainor or whatever the yeah yeah people, pop, pop singers, you know. But they but they actually pick one of the songs and then they and then they record it. Well, that's that's interesting. It is interesting. Now that's over on Hanover Street, correct? Yeah, right across from the palace. Okay, Hangover Street. Do you say Hangover Street? Really? Yeah, Hangover Street. Really? Hangover but Street. This is, this is a news bit, but um, I'm sure by now people have been talking about it. The, um, the sign of the times over there. It looks like something's happening at Theo's. Yeah, I saw that yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I saw that too. It's going to be some taco and tequila place now. Oh, my God. Yeah. We don't have one of those yet. All right. <laughs> I mean, do we need another taco in a taco place? Really? I don't know. Do I we? Know. I mean, there's a lot of places. There's a lot of places to get, uh, you know, that serve Mexican food. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know anything, and if anybody out there knows. But as far as um, as far as the city goes, and what Theo's in general, Theo's has been around for many, many, many years, even before. Uh, as long as I've been around. Here. Alderman Lavasser. Uh, was affiliated with it the the family the two families that owned it before were uh, fantastic i mean it, it's the reason why i mean there used to be lines out the door at theo's for their food you're right for, really? oh yeah oh yeah some great great food and uh it, it, it's sad because it's one of those places that is a just one of those things that's always been in the city theo's has always yeah. been there it won't be in the insider's guide next year probably right 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 across from the tub shop <laughs> was that still yeah, there? So there's, that's uh, not there? No, I don't know. No one will answer me. No one. No one will say if there's hot tubs still in the Sunbeam Mall. Some Sunbeam Mall. Sunbeam Mall, right? Right. But that that I told you the story where where I had when I was when I was younger I locked the keys in my car because I was at the tub shop. I had to walk across the street to use the payphone at Theo's to call the police to come out and unlock my car with a Slim Jim. Unforgettable. Yeah, with a Slim Jim. Yeah, so that's that's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one to see see one of those places like that. That's all, like for me, it's been around since uh, yeah. as long as I can remember uh, to see that go away. Yeah, so I don't know the scoop. I, I'm I'm not on the uh, friends and family list there with the Alderman Lavasser, so I don't think he'd he'd talk to me about it anyway. But if anybody knows. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think I think he came out uh, with a statement on social media. Um, oh well, see, I wouldn't know that either, right? Right, but I think I, I I think the 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 people that are op opening the the uh, restaurant got to everybody first. You know, they they got the information you out see first. Because you because you, you cut out. Uh, I was saying the own the new owners of the the Mexican place. Um, uh -huh. They put stuff out on social media before Joe had a chance to uh, get out there and. Uh -huh. Yeah, from, from what I understand, yes. this is what I, I'm saying. I heard I heard there was a note on the door, and that's how employees found out, but I don't know if that's a rumor. Yeah, see, I don't know either. I, I wouldn't know that. Now, yeah. uh, the Gallows family used to own Theo's, and I was friends with Arthur. Uh, we used to call him Saki, and uh, unfortunately, uh, he's no longer with us, but... Uh, mm -hmm. um, what a, what a, what a great, we, used to go, we used to go there all the time while we were in high school and uh, just kind of hang out and eat and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be sad to see Theo's go. Yeah, yeah. Just another one gone. Right. Hey, isn't that a... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> another one bites the dust. Yeah, another one bites the dust. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that a tune we can sing? But... Why, you want to sing another one bites the dust? No, you don't have to. But I, I always think that would be a fun way to spend your day, too, seeing how many songs you can use to respond to people like instead of actually saying something 
you know, from your own mind. Right. Just say, saying it, people. saying it with a song. Yeah, with a line from a song, and 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 see if you could do that all day, and see if you could do it for everything. Wow. I don't know how easy that would be. Probably somebody like Scumpy with an entire catalog of music in his head would still could be do tough. it easier than someone like me. I think you, I think it would be fun. Like you, like almost mm -hmm. like you can't respond unless it's a song line or, or yeah, something. Yeah, you really, then that would, you know, if you did that all day, that'd be hard. That'd be really hard. Would be really hard, but challenging. It'd be yep. an interesting challenge. I think you might be right. I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. See, what happens with me when, I'm, when, when there's a song playing and if I'm singing along with it, and anyone that, you know, is close to me that, that has seen me done, do this before, I, I sometimes will slide my name into a song. Well, you that's, know. that's fun. Well, yeah. Like, uh, give, us, give us an example, please. I, I, would, I would like to give you an example. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. It, it it has to be. It has to be. I can't just do it. It has. To, it just happens. <laughs> I'll put other people's happens. names in the songs because because it, it, my name rhymes with a lot of you know a lot of uh, a lot of words. So. Right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the actual name game on the radio yesterday. Oh yeah, that's right. On on uh on this station. No, it was it was like a serious channel, like a. Like oh, a, Shirley a Ellis in the name game. Yeah. She does a lot of explaining. I never realized that. She runs through the rules of the name game so much that it's really confusing. Right. Yeah. But it's still a, still a catchy song. And I guess, would you go by Pete or Peter in that song? Well, I tend to go by Peter. I, 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 not too many people call me. My grandfather was Pete. So I, okay. I was always a Peter. But gotcha. some people call me Pete. But not many people. Because I'll tell them to call me Peter. Well, most people just call me Peter <laughs> White. <they> don't... <laughs> right. Like it's a one, one like word. a one word name. Yes. Right. Yeah. And some know. people just say, "Hey, dude." <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. Yo. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Yo, dude. Hey, man. So, are you going to be downtown tonight at all, Peter? Um, that's the thing. I'm not. I, I. You know what? I'm not sure. Well, how late are you working? Do you know that? No, I don't even know that. My life is very unpredictable. Wow. Yeah, I may be downtown tonight. I will definitely let you know if I am. You'll see me. I'm a tall guy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you'll see him in the skyline. Right. Yes, in the yeah. skyline. I'm gonna have to do it in shifts. Like I want to. I want to go to the farmers market and pick up some stuff, but then I'm gonna have to run at home. Right. Um, you know, because I can't leave it in the car because I usually buy stuff that needs to be refrigerated. Um, you're gonna that's go not buy. A deal breaker. You're gonna go buy some loose food today. Loose food. Right. right. Yeah, loose food. <laughs> we must so, be the um, only ones that call it loose food. What do you mean loose food? Yeah. Well, because it's not packaged; it's just loose. Where? What? What are you talking? At the farmers market. Oh, We've been right. talking about it for a half an hour. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They still give you a bag. <laughs> okay, I, I got you. I got you. Right? Yeah, then you can bring your own bag, but it's like you know you're gonna have a bag full of like zucchini or something, or you know, last time I bought strawberries, they were so good, they were terrific. Yeah, and I really? hope they still have them because they want more. All right. Because they're want... just they're just completely different than the ones you get in the supermarket. They're smaller. They actually look completely different. They're 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 sweeter. They're 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 not almost. They're just more tender. I don't know how else to put it. They're just actual what? strawberries grown locally are so different than the ones they truck in from California. Now, do you ever buy anything on that that? cart like across from mojo's it's always like a farmer's yeah it's like a little thing there too yeah, i but... haven't actually been down that way to do that but um I've i know it's open it. it's over by goldenrod yeah. yeah 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 there's a lot of little places like that though right isn't there a lot of little there's a okay. few farm stands around here little little littler ones but the big yeah. one is right down here today right down here on elm street uh yeah you know, all the fine folks at In Town Manchester. Yes. Well, of course, you always got the one over on Webster Street. Right. That's right. been there forever, too. Queen, yeah, Queen City Farms yeah, or whatever. Something, whatever yeah. What is it called? I don't know. What I don't know. I don't even know. Is it that what it is? I don't know. I wish it's I knew. been there for a long, long time, though. Yeah, longer than Theo's. Yeah, right? <laughs> farm, and, farm and Flower? Yeah, what is that? Over there on the corner of, uh, it's been there for since I was a kid, really. Yeah. 
And there used to be one on Queen City Ave over by where the River's Edge Hospital was. I mean, the River's Edge, uh, Elliot. There River's was. Edge. There right? was a great, I remember that, too. There was a big stand over there, too. Yep. Yeah, I popped into Farm and Flower a couple weeks ago and bought some stuff there. That's what it's we called, Farm and Flower? I think it yeah. was Queen City Farms at one time, though. Yeah, it's something. I don't know. One, that's No, the one on Webster's Farm and Flower. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm oh, not well, sure. I don't know. It's changed names, I think. I don't know. Since I was a kid. I heard it's going to be a tequila and uh, taco place. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why not. <laughs> <laughs> and who needs the tacos? Uh, all right, Carol. Well, listen, we'll uh, keep an eye out for you downtown today. All right. Well, don't sound so enthusiastic. <laughs> I, I am enthusiastic. I'm a little bit skeptical, but yeah, I'll see it. I'll see you downtown. Okay. All right, Carol. Well, you know what? Before right, we, look, well, you know what? You can stay here for a second because we have a call, just in case it's for you. Uh, that won't be. <laughs> good morning. You're on the air. Well, good morning. Good morning, and hi, Carol. Also. Oh, hi, T. There you go. Hey, uh, yeah, it's the uh, the fruit center, fruit and flower center is on Webster Street now. Uh, Shane Elon runs that, and it was Queen City Farms on Webster and on Valley Street. The Litvin family ran that forever. The uncle was on Webster Street, and Lit's father was on, uh, uh, excuse me, the uncle was on Queen City Ave, and uh, Mike Litvin's dad ran the other one. And I played uh, Little League and minor league with Mike, and Mike ran for a very long time. And then uh, Shane Elon took over, and he's running the show over there now. Oh, wow. That's so pretty cool. There's also Manchester people that have been involved with that business. Yeah. I think that's great. What yeah, do you, yeah what? Johnny Turgeon nice drives for him, too. I don't know if you know Turge. He's another uh, Manchester boy. And uh, so, anyways, that's all I thought I'd just give you a little highlight as to what Time is in. the world of yeah. the fruit center. <laughs> well, thank you, T. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think he, they over the years they've hired easily probably a thousand kids from Central. Well, right. Yeah, no kidding. Usually is, uh, yeah, teenage kids working over there. Well, all right, T. Yeah. Too true. All right, well, I'll let you get back to your stuff. And uh, uh, too bad somebody didn't pick up deals to keep that going. That'd be nice. But <laughs> the has got a rough ref here in the uh, town of Manchester. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right, you guys, rock on. <laughs> All right, Don T. Tibbetts. Oh, boy. Okay, Carol, we'll we'll let you go now. <laughs> Are you still there? No. Okay. Oh, so, no. Uh, <laughs> well, listen, Carol, we'll uh, keep an eye out for you today, and uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Okay. Yeah. Hey, do we have we do we discuss the return of Daryl ever? Um. I, yes, we do. I, believe it or not, Daryl will be uh, be making his uh, broadcast return tonight. On oh, the, on, wonderful! On the weekly Dion as they celebrate three years—I mean, two years on the air. Very good. Yeah. So Daryl and uh, Daryl and Ben will be uh, in studio tonight, and that's right after Matt Connerton's unleashed in the afternoon. And yeah. then coming back here, we're not sure yet. The time, the time, you know, we'll find out. When he can get here, when he can get here uh, comfortably, he will be back. Uh, I talked to him yesterday. Uh, he's anxious to get back. Does that answer your I question? You. It did, completely. Okay, well, that's good then. Can we get on yeah. with it then, Carol? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, Peter. Get on with it, would you? Okay, well, thank you so much, and uh, we will talk to you a little bit later. All right. I love you guys. Yeah. Oh, we, we love, love you, too, too Carol. I love you guys. Oh, yeah. thank you. Bye, Carol. You're welcome. Bye. We got to meet. Yeah, bye. <laughs> All right. Carol Robito, Manchester Inc. Link, where everything in Manchester connects. You can find out what's going on around town at ManchesterInclink.com. The Morning Show is sponsored by CGI Business Solutions, located 171 Londonderry Turnpike in Hooksit, serving all your big and small business needs and play benefits planning. Corporate design and business administration, investments and wealth management, customized business insurance solutions. Uh, number 866-841-4600 on the web at cgibusinesssolutions.com. You're listening to Peter White. Call us at 250-6007. It's the morning show. H95.3 FM. Good morning, Manchester. I was in a foursome.
just me and another guy, and we were two guys I never met. One guy had to be 70 years old. Wow. Yeah, I heard you guys talking about golf the other day. Oh, that's about golf? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That, that was Mike. That was a clip of Mike Doyle. Yeah, talking about a foursome. Right. Yeah. Thought it was a party he went to back in the uh, 1980s, over right. on, over on the south side. Oh, I thought it was a golf thing. I was in a foursome. See, just me and another guy. Oh, I see what you're talking about. <laughs> How can it be a foursome just me and another guy? Yeah. Well, that's what that I know. It doesn't make sense. Yes. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's see. What do we got for a temperature outside, everyone? We have uh, 66 degrees. It's going to get you a little humid today, so try to stay cool in the summer day. We have Priscilla Mills here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you now. Thank you. Now, you had a very busy day yesterday, Priscilla. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about, uh, now, can I, well, can I set it up for the audience? Sure. Okay, now, now Priscilla here is an aspiring actress. Uh, she, you know, tries to be involved in a lot of things here as far as uh, uh, entertainment goes and you actually had a paying gig yesterday, uh, a commercial shoot. Yes, are you my allowed? first paid gig. Are yeah. you allowed to cool. talk about it? I'm not really sure. I, is you know the, what, I'll, it, I'll it, ask him on Friday because we still have to do the second part of the shoot um, on Friday. And I don't want to say anything if we're not allowed to mention it yet. I right. don't know. It's not like we had to sign anything, but you never know. It's, not, a, the new, it's, not, it's not the new Theo's commercial, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no. the, the taco tequila commercial. Right. We did a filming at a private residence uh, in Nashua yesterday, and then, oh, it's um, one of the, okay. And then the, on Friday, I think it's going to be in Mass somewhere closer to Rhode Island. Oh, so it's a it, it's a a, a a New England thing, is it? Well, we don't know. She can't she can't say. Can't say, huh? What? Well, I don't. You don't want to get in trouble. You don't want to get fired. But I don't. Th I don't think it would be a big deal to mention. It. It's just because like it hasn't come out right. yet. You know, it's, it's not like a sort of pro painters uh, commercial, is it? <laughs> no. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have yeah. you seen that, Scumpy? Which one? The sort of pro painters uh, commercial. No. It, it's a, it's a fine commercial, and sort of pro painters is probably a fine fine uh, company of painters. But uh, I don't think it's going to be. The commercial uh, says, "I'm sorry, I have to do it. I can't stand when the lady goes. Your house looks amazing, Jim. Do you guys know what I mean?" No. Or, or do I, really, nobody knows this commercial. I don't know that commercial. It's just on WMUR all oh. the time, like if you're watching the news. Now, who hired you for the, the commercial, though? Is it, was it, is it a local company uh, that yeah, does Yeah, I, th I think they're a local production Are company. Are they? Yeah. Your house looks amazing, Jim. Please, somebody, acknowledge that y you've heard that before. I haven't. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I so, have now. wonder if I can find it. So this commercial, uh, it's going to be, I think, uh, on social media. I think that's where they're gonna oh social media where a lot of people advertise yeah so You're right okay so uh oh so I, you can't even talk about we can't even ask like what 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 you actually what do I, I well i could say that i would um all right i'm, I'm just gonna say just say yeah, yeah, it. all right do it, do it, do it. It's, it's for convenient md oh okay oh, okay convenient md all right i initially applied for the role of doctor female doctor oh. <laughs> yeah or, you know, so, because I have all the scrubs, but I, I got the mom role. Oh, well, the mom <laughs> role's all right. Yeah, right. And, and is that going to be hard for you to do, playing a mom? Because you're, you're not a mom, correct? Correct. Okay. No, but I've, most of the roles I've been getting, whether student films or whatnot, um, I've been playing How them. do you find out about this? Uh... I go uh, on backstage. I've been getting everything. I, I got another film coming up next, another student film next week. Um, then I just uh, got a call for another one. What do you apply online for these things? Yeah, oh, I pay. You? I pay. Really? To oh, get I'm all kidding. the uh, uh, you so know all the it's casting. It's almost like calls. paying an agent type of thing, almost, huh? Right, like except you're you're yeah. doing it yourself. You know, do, doing all the legwork anyway. And um, well, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, though. so I got a few things. I was supposed to be doing like a sketch comedy show on Saturday, but the producer for that is uh, unfortunately. Um, having issues uh, his father is ill emergency issue with his dad so. oh that's tough we have a thing with the uh, narrow street films coming up again uh, oh you do do you yeah that the movie i did last year um it's called the dinner party yeah i guess they're gonna put out a series oh really and yeah. you're gonna be a reoccurring and character I'm gonna be, yeah i'm gonna be one of the regulars so. really wow that's nice. pretty cool yeah yeah we gotta hook you up with uh terry trainer uh they do a lot of great stuff a lot of great stuff yeah yeah, definitely. Yeah. Some stuff on Amazon Terry's, Prime. Terry hasn't been in in a while. 
like we haven't talked to Terry in a long yeah, time. Yeah, he's so busy and he's living where? He's, he's is he in Portsmouth or yeah, is he in I Maine? Think he's in Portsmouth or something. That's because he Maine. got that new girlfriend. That's why. That's why. And that's when we lost Terry. When he when he when he started uh, having a girlfriend. Thanks a lot, Terry Trainer. You guys didn't even say do I look different? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, do you? Okay, I'm looking at you. Now, do you look different? What's missing? What is missing? Your shoes? No. No. Yeah, okay. Look. Um, your hair? Yeah. What What happened to your hair? Yeah, so you know those are well, extensions. I didn't know. Yes. Oh. So see, but, I wouldn't know that. How would I know that you had extensions? Yeah, but it's funny that you didn't even notice that the whole thing of hair is missing. Well, no, but it looks like because I just assume we're we're, we're dudes. I we, know we, we, you we guys don't, don't notice anything. No, but no. I, I didn't know. I mean, the wife comes home with a new haircut and she says, "What do you think?" What? Right. <laughs> what? I only look at you every day. What? It's like it's like one of those things. Like, hey, how do I look? Well, the thing with you, I've only <laughs> seen you a couple of times, really. Sure. Well, I, see, I yeah. couldn't tell. I thought you maybe had your hair up in the back, so I couldn't tell. So they, so every couple of weeks, I would say like four weeks maximum, you have to get them like pulled up or pulled in. I think it's the term. Really. Um, because your hair is growing, and then you got to pull it back up. Oh, like right. they gotta they gotta remove the tape, you know, remove them, then put it, you know, whatever. Oh. It's a big process. But anyway, as I was brushing my hair again, it's like I just got this commercial and now as I'm brushing my hair, like getting out of the shower the, the day before the shoot, one of my extensions comes out and I'm like, Oh Oh boy. So I had to do an emergency call, but they didn't have enough time to fit me in to do it. All they could do is remove them. Uh oh. So now I'm messaging you know the, the production that, and i was like i hope i didn't get the part based on the hair oh because boy. i don't you don't have it anymore. Not there anymore i go i could bring it away because you own the extensions i guess i'm carrying around like a bag of hair. scumpy scumpy has uh, hair extensions oh yeah but luckily it didn't matter so yeah that's good but for the yeah. the role the, you know because i'm playing a witch or whatever in the next one i, I i'm pretty You're playing sure a that, witch yeah Wow. A witch. Is it a major role? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty intense. And I die. And you die? Yeah. Does someone splash water on you and you melt? Ah, <laughs> melting! No, this is not the Wizard of Oz. No, I think uh, so. Uh, I burn. I, I'm... You're burned at the, uh, at the yeah. stake? Oh, boy. No, he is. It's a witch's barbecue. Burn! Burn! Someone actually is like does it with supernatural powers, like fights me and is able to... Oh, me. oh, it's like that show, um, Charmed. Is that what it is? Yeah, I never yeah. watched Charmed, Scumpy. That's all the You watched stuff. Charmed? I, I've seen Admit it, you watched Charmed. He, he no, Charmed. yeah, bits and pieces. Right. Oh, yeah, He's bits like, and it's pieces. my favorite show. Yeah, it was on right after Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Although that was a great movie. I liked Buffy the movie. I, uh, before we get on with our game here with Scumpy, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Mrs. Jolton out there. I got a friend request from uh, Mrs. Jolton. Okay. And uh, Mrs. Jolton, I call her Mrs. Jolton, just because she was a substitute teacher when I was up at uh, Chandler School in sixth grade. Wow. Yes. And, and you remember this way I, back. I remember because we were talking about substitute teachers and how if you had a substitute teacher, you know, like a kid like me, would, I would just take advantage of it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I, I probably drove this lady crazy. I was such a pain in the ass. And, I can see that. Yeah, and it just, and it was in Mr. Rooney's class. Mr. Rooney was a very uh, uh, strict firm. teacher. Yeah, very firm, and you didn't, you didn't mess around with Mr. Rooney. But he was out for a couple of days, and so we had a substitute teacher. It happened to be Mrs. Jolton, and I, uh, after all these years, 35, 36, or however many years it's been, I just wanted to apologize for being such a, uh, uh, such an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so very good, very good. Um, all right, Scumpy, you have a game here this morning, right? I do. All right, no. all right. I got all four sports teams here. I mean, all four oh, no. major sports. We're going to suck at this. Are we going to suck at the sports? Are I you don't know. I think I'm going to suck. With yeah. That. It's it's all a big guessing game, but. All right, well, we're going to play, and you can what play we're along. What we're going to do is, um, who has the highest winning percentage? Oh, my God. Oh. This is. This is just gonna be. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, it is hard. Don't you have Total anything guess. else for us? That's all right. We we, we got to do it. Let's do it. That's what all I right. got for today. Well, I mean, you can always do which team started first too. But yeah, I'm not mm. gonna be good at that either. Even though I play sports and 
Right. Semi follow sports. Yeah, I, I, I also semi. But yeah. I mean, yeah. That's all right. Don't worry, Scumpy. We're no. not giving all right, you a hard time. I'm sure there's sports, major sports fans out there that will right, play we'll along. Right. Will help us out. So yeah. uh, <laughs> See, I'll, I'll start it off too with a. Um, all right. With the New England Patriots. All right. Well, two, okay. two five zero. You can play along too. Two five zero six double zero seven. You can get in our Facebook live room. I want to say good morning to our friend Chris Rose. Good morning. And uh, are you ready to go, Scumpy? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. I was gonna go with. Start it off because the New England Patriots or the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh boy. All time winning percentage. Uh, all time winning percentage. Oh, and that goes with that doesn't mean Super Bowls. This is just games in general. This is games. Games in general. That's a good one. I, you know, let's mm. see. Now, the Patriots have been in about eight Super Bowls, right? Ten. They've been in ten. I okay, think. but in how many did they win? Six? Yeah. Okay. So if they've been in ten Super Bowls, they've been in almost, they've been in 20% of all Super Bowls, pretty much. So and they've won a lot of games, but then I know the Steelers. Yeah, but they've only won a lot Steelers, of games. They Steelers won't... were in eight Super Bowls and have six also. Right. So what I'm saying is the Patriots have have that that's fairly recent uh, in this century. Uh, the last century they didn't do too well. Uh, the Steel. I'm going to go with the Steelers. I'm going to go. I'll with just. The, I'm uh, just going to. Uh, I'm going to go with the Patriots. Okay. Pinamia and Priscilla. All right. And uh, what do we got, Scumpy? Well. You know what we're missing today? You know, I knew something was missing. There's the little music going on. Right. Yeah, you didn't do the... Yeah, you need the... (laughs) There There it is. Now I feel better. I feel much better. Now I feel like I get that thinking cap on. Right. Let's (laughs) say a big... uh, And that's my final answer. Happy Thursday morning to Von Humboldt. Yes, Von. Von. Did he give give an answer? Uh, he said, unfortunately, it's the Steelers. The Steelers are, are Scumpy's favorite team. Oh, really? That's right. right. Oh, no wonder he put this as one of the right. I did, because of <laughs> the New England against Pittsburgh thing. Uh-huh. And actually, uh, the New England Patriots is the right answer. Oh. oh. So I lose. I had a I guess So I lose. Oops. I lose. <laughs> Priscilla, you get that one. 56.1. You get that one, Priscilla. All right. All right. It, well, you know what it is? The Steelers started back in 1933. All right. And they were they were junk way, way back. Right. I, I, if you went from 60 when the Patriots started, the Steelers would have a better percentage. But all time. Who is right. it from when, what is it, Roethlisberger? Is it him? Right? Isn't he the quarterback for the Steelers? He is now, yeah. Yes, yeah. The, the rapist, some people call yeah, him. Yeah, right. He's a family the guy, man. Isn't that guy like seven foot two or something? No, he looks really tall. On he's, him. you know, Tom Brady's just as big. Really? They're both six I five. Think, I think maybe because Brady's a little thinner. Well, if you look at Tom Brady when he came into the league, and he, I mean, he's been conditioned to a, you know. He's six five. He's a big oh, yeah. guy. Yeah. Sure. But he's not. He's not the big torso yeah, guy. Yeah, like, yeah, no. Ben looks like he has short legs and a big torso. Yeah. Yeah. He's like kind of proportioned weird, but yeah. hard to bring down. Yeah, okay. you're a big fan, huh? Didn't he get in trouble though before? Didn't didn't uh, Roethlisberger get in some trouble? No. Oh no, he did. Look it up. I think he went to court for for. I think some some woman accused sexual him sexual assault. Yeah, I think so. Oh really? Yeah. But was someone looking for a paycheck? But was he? Oh, you can't say that though. Was he guilty yeah. though? No. Oh, see, so that then you know. What is the story there? We'll find out. I'm going to find and out. If you're, I probably if you're could... innocent on a situation, you can't, you know. Right. right. Now, now it's he just has all like speculative. Three or four kids, and he's been married for a long time. Well, that doesn't matter either. But hey, he's not, at least he's not a New York Jet. New York Don't Jets. be jelly. New York Look Jets. at Mike Tyson. I mean, like he went to jail for raping sky. people still like him. What's that? Mike Tyson. Yeah, he went to jail. He went to jail for rape. He was guilty, and people still like him. Yeah. Come on, the guy's a nutcase. Who uh, who likes him? I don't know. I don't know. He's still making money. He's still going on TV shows and uh, movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, All you gotta do is bite off an ear. It's because he got that, that great yeah, he tattoo. Bites ears. He rapes people. And, uh, it's it, it, it's it's like uh, and since all, he, let's hire him. Yeah. Let's get you know. It's one of those things. You get a tattoo on your face like that, you're gonna be all set. That's yeah. it. All right. What else do we have here, Scumpy? Well, let's try to all right, let's, let's go. Let's try to get off the all subject right. of rape. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Um, 
old school teams here now. Big rivals, the Chicago Bears or the Green Bay Packers. Oh, boy. These are just, get, this is a total guessing game for me. I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. I'm also going to go with. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you can't do that one. Why can't? Why? Because it's tied. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize it. Oh, oh well. Oh boy! <laughs> Epic this fail. Game is, this game is 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 turning yeah, into. Yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, Scumpy. Okay. We'll do something different. We'll do the Boston Red Sox. Okay, I'm familiar with those. Or the Chicago Cubs. All right. The most winning percentage. Both teams have been around for a hundred. Uh, man, okay. All right. Yeah, they um, have been. Another guessing game for Cubs me. Cubs started in 1876. Oh, boy. I'm going to uh, go with the Chicago Cubs. I'm just sticking with the, the Red Sox. Okay. Hold on, Scumpy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have to wait. Get, I, is Von Humboldt over there? Can I use a lifeline with Von, Von Humboldt? Humboldt? Von Humboldt said, um, says, good morning. You're going to use a lifeline? Von Humboldt, what do you think? Uh, okay. Red Sox? Or the Cubs, who has the most winning percentage, correct? Yes. All right. Vaughn Humboldt, uh, Priscilla, you're, you're using uh, yeah, Vaughn. Yeah, I'm, I'm using Vaughn. You're using Vaughn this morning, and uh, he says the Red Sox. Okay. So he, he, I'm sticking with my answer. Okay. I'm going also with Vaughn and saying the Red Sox. Said, and that's my final answer. I said the Cubs. I said the Cubs. And the correct answer is... The Boston Red Sox. Yes! Oh. Thank you, Vaughn! <laughs> Very close, though. Vaughn Humboldt with the win. Yes. Woo-hoo. Very good. Red Sox started in 1901. Okay, great. 1876 Cubs. Hit. Boy. Yeah. yeah 1876. Old. You ever go to any of those old games? <laughs> right? They Their stadium is also still like the old stadium, like the Red Sox, right? Like, y- you still have, like, the... Yes. Yeah, what I've been yeah the, they're the only the original Sox, stadiums yeah. left. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, Fenway Park and what is that, Chicago? It's a... Uh, um, we all know what it on, is. Come on, we know what it is. Can't I think know. It has Wait, the ivy on. on the wall. Hold on. The, uh, is it Wrig- not Wrigley? Is it Wrigley? Wait, yeah, Wrigley, Wrigley, Field, yeah. Wrigley Field, yeah. Wrigley Field. Okay. I've never been to that stadium, but... Now, hmm. Wrigley Field, does it name that because of the gum company? I believe so. The gum company, yes. And they've never changed the name. Juicy Fruit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's made out of juicy fruit. It is. And double mint gum. Double mint. Oh, boy. All oh, right. boy. Tough, tough game, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, guessing game. All right. All right. Well. All right. That's the best part of the game. The, <laughs> that, that, uh, the drum beat. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. All right. All righty, then. All oh. right, are you ready? Oh, you need the, uh, okay. Yeah, you gotta. I know, I'm sorry. It just puts Get with feel. it, Peter. Well, you know what? I just kind of slack a little bit during the summer, you know? Okay. All right, Scumpy. We got the Boston Bruins. Okay. All right. Or the Philadelphia Flyers. See, I would never know this. These are hockey teams, Priscilla. Know. Priscilla's too I'm low very so aware. far. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just, you know what? I'm just sticking all to the New England. Uh, it is two to nothing, Priscilla. You, you are winning. Okay, so I got the lead. I'm gonna, you know, I don't really know much of the Philadelphia. Well, don't get Flyers cocky stats. because you have no, the I lead. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna stick with the Bruins. All right. All the New England. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. I'm, I'm gonna go the opposite way just because I want a point. Let's say the Flyers, Scumpy. And the correct answer is. The Philadelphia Flyers. All right, there you go. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, everybody. All right. All right. Nice. Wow, this game right. This game is taking a lot out of me, Scumpy. Yeah, I know. Two to one. It really is. Two to one. I have some other drum beats here, you know. Yeah. See if you see. Yeah, if but are they catchy? Well, let's see if you can name this drum beat. What song it comes from? Christina Aguilera, Genie in a Bottle. Scumpy? I would have no clue. It's too pop for me. Ooh, uh, is that who it is, really? I feel like I've been oh, it's not even a drum beat. It's, it's, not even, it's not even a drum beat. I know, that's why it's, I was the whole, like, it's the whole damn song. More of a... What about this one? I've got the power. 
Yeah, yeah that, that's wow, a good she's one. she's right in on it. Huh? One, two, three, four, get it! Here you go. The best in men's clothing. <laughs> Call up Paul's Boutique. <laughs> All right. All right, Scubby. Uh, I'm, right. I'm done fooling around with drum beats here. Okay. Let's See, go. that's the best one anyway. Yeah. All right, here we go, Scumpy. Are you ready? Now we're gonna go with two big winning teams and mix it up here. Okay, okay. We're going with the Montreal Canadiens. All right. Or the New York Yankees. Ooh. They both have over twenty something championships. Wow. Uh, geez, that's. And they've both been around over 100 years. No way. Uh, gee, Yankees play more games, though. Don't they? Don't baseball players yeah, play more yeah. games more than games, hockey? Yeah, but it's still a percentage. Okay, okay. Yeah. You don't have to get all mathy well, on me. I'm not all mathy. <laughs> Math or rappy. I, I'm going to go with the Yankees. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to. You know what? Then I'm going to go with the Canadians. Why do you always go opposite Because of I'm trying to catch up here now. I'm either uh. going to dig myself in a hole. Or I am going to uh, get a point to tie you. All right. All right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the correct answer is the Montreal Canadiens. Really? Oh, yeah. Let's hear it. Wow. Peter White gets another point. Thank you so much, everybody. And good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, good morning. All right, that's a tied game. All right, it's two to two in this great sports game we're playing here this morning. So your strategy has been working, Peter. Right, but see, they can get you into trouble, too. Yeah, you could be down four. You could be. Mm-hmm. All right, what else do we got here? All right. The Minnesota Vikings... Or the Miami Dolphins. Oh, boy. God. I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins. Mm. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Mm. I'm going to go with the Vikings. You're going to go with the Vikings. Look okay. at this, huh? All right, Scumpy, what do we have here? What do we have here? The correct answer is the Miami Dolphins. Oh, no. Oh, oh boy! Look at that! You got three straight there, See, Peter. I know. I th I'm wow. on a roll. He is. Yeah, baby. All like right. Play playing all those drum beats. That's it. It gets me going. Von, right. hum Von Humboldt is my good luck charm. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Von, for joining us this morning. All right. All right. Are you I wonder if my mom's listening. I sent her a message. Maybe she is. I wish my dad was listening. Maybe he'd help me out with some of this. Right. <laughs> These are tough ones. Yeah, it is not an easy game. It's not no, an easy this game. Is horrible. This is a difficult. Uh, the difficulty on this is a uh, very high. All right. All right. Let's do it. All right, Scumpy. Okay. All right. I'm ready. The Green Bay Packers. All right. Well, the Dallas Cowboys. Oh. Green Bay Packers or the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I have huge, like, my family is a huge Green Bay Packers fan, and just because of that, oh. <laughs> some, family <laughs> members, some family members, I'm going to go. <laughs> my, my wife's mother was a big Packer fan. <laughs> Settle down over there. I know. Um, but So I'm going to go with the Packers. Oh, okay. I'm gonna now. What's the other one? The Dallas Cowboys. I'll take those stupid Cowboys. The damn Cowboys. I'll take those Cowboys. What do we got, Scumpy? Where the, you going, Cowboy? The correct answer is the Dallas Cowboys. No. <laughs> Peter's At, running away with this actually, game. Actually, the Dallas Cowboys have the highest winning percentage in all of NFL. Really? Really? Yes. Wow. All the right. fun facts. It is four to two here this morning. If you're just tuning in, we're playing one of Scumpy's uh, great games here this morning. <laughs> and this one is all about sports. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right, Scumpy, do you have more? I have, uh, yeah, I have all of them. Do, <laughs> do, do I have, do I have uh, it was just a one chance of those things to catch I up? Saw and I you have time to catch up. Wait, what time? It it's only 8.28. Okay, oh, I got, got time. plenty of time. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. The Raiders. 
That's Daryl Dion's team. Yes. Or the Kansas City Chiefs. City of Compton. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I will also have to go with the Raiders. Oh, this is going to be wow, a while. That was quick. Yeah. No thinking there, huh? No. No. We know our stuff. We know our sports. <laughs> you know your sports. Yes. The correct answer is the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> oh, so we, we don't... We, don't we both, we both uh, we don't score. failed on that. Right. We don't score on that one. You notice how the Jets aren't in any of these? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them in. New York Jets, New York Jets. They're like douchebags in the sky. <laughs> what the heck was that? Yes. I got this horrible mosquito bite on my shoulder. Really? How does a mosquito get into your get into your? Uh... Oh, they get everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like being on Naked and Afraid. Have you ever seen that show? I watch that all the time. Right? Would you do that show? No way. I couldn't handle the I night with the bugs. The bugs was that's the thing that would kill me the most. Could you walk around naked with a stranger? I suppose so. Oh, you'd have to. You'd have to. <laughs> right. Oh, how you doing? My name's Scumpy. That's the weirdest. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. I have is a when Scumpy. They meet. Right. It's the weirdest thing when they meet because they try not to look down. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> or, or if you're a dude, if you're a dude, you're like, oh man, I hope I'm gonna be with a hot girl. I oh, hope yeah. I'm gonna be. <laughs> no, you don't. That doesn't really happen. Most of them are pretty good looking on that show, anyway. Well, I don't think that's that... how you have to get ratings, right? Well, I don't know. Not everyone. Not everyone's that great look. No, not all. It, well, you after, can be after about four days in. I mean, they're most of them are a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Let's uh, let's take a quick little break, and we'll be right back, folks. You're listening to Peter White. Call us at 250-6007. It's the morning show. Good morning, Manchester. Here's Peter White. I was in a foursome. Just me and another guy. And <laughs> Look, uh, when you play that, that cracks me up. That is, now my new, that is my new favorite clip here. Just I was in a foursome. Who thought Mike Doyle was that crazy? Yeah. But I don't know how you get four with just him and another guy. That's what right. And one of the guys was 70. So that's a party. And that's for... it. Were they at the, the hot tub? The tub the, shop? The tub shop. Just me and another after, guy. After and we having were... lunch at Theo's? Right. <laughs> Across the street at Theo's. <laughs> yeah, that cracks me up, though. Oh, boy. Right. Did you ever go to the tub shop, Scumpy? I did. Right, you did. A couple of times, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, Paulie C. used to clean those out. Yeah, I know. And then, uh, well, we thought about it after we went the, one of the other times. We saw these people coming out and we said, I don't, I don't think we want to go in there anymore. Why? Because you saw other people. You were judging the people what, going in? Well, the people that were coming out. And it's like, you know, we, we started thinking about who the hell's been in there all day. Well, I know. but and they what are they little, doing? You know, you, they're just relaxing. People go, people, people go of, there to relax. <laughs> people, people go there to relax, though. Yeah, but. What? Some, but what? See some couples coming out of there. You know what they were well, doing. Well, couples can relax together. Oh, they can relax. You right. can, you know, see that. That's what do you? Is it like in a private room? You get like a private yeah, room. Oh, there. you get a private oh. room. Oh. And then you 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 put uh, the, you can put the tunes on, bring some champagne yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. The the stereo system is. I that, get it on. Yeah. The, get it the, on. That's let's the thing. get it on. Well, the the. The stereos used to be an old, like, you know, like a car stereo That's in the wall. That's what they were, the old Alpines. And you could bring your own mixtape you if could. you wanted to. Yes, yes. You Wait, is it, a, you could it? pay. You could pay extra money and get the deluxe room, and it had a plastic, uh, kind of a plastic mattress there for you. That's what someone told me. I don't know. I don't know. know, I, don't know. I never had that, that one. Right. Wait, isn't that like an SNL? Well, first of all, the SNL skit, making love in a hot tub. You know what it was? <laughs> we only went, like, I think we got gift certificates. That's why we went. Mike Doyle. Never just went Mike Doyle. And then you guys myself. have been addicted ever since. Mike Doyle yeah. once went in a hot tub. I, I, Here, I, I here's, a, here's a clip. Mike Doyle once went in a hot tub. I was in a foursome. <laughs> <laughs> just me and another guy. Which doesn't make sense. That's what kind of party it was. All right. Very good. So, a foursome uh, with only two. Yeah. And yeah. one guy was 70. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a uh, algebra question. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know anything. No. <laughs> this is a good one here. Yeah. All right. We should get a tub shop for right here in the studio. So uh, my friend studio. Jason is listening because he's making fun of me the whole time. He's messaging me. Oh, really? He's like, don't sing. Don't do 
You can so you know what, you Jason? Say if you're gonna, you I go. Want. If you're gonna listen, I go. At least help me with some of these questions here. He's a he's a sports guy. So. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So if you're, well, I know he's listening. So help me with uh, some of the questions here. Let's see, Jason. we're gonna go with a couple of the um, kind of the bottom of the barrel type of themes here. Okay. Oh, great. I want to say good morning to uh, Paul Cormier in the Facebook Live room. We know him as Polly C. C. That's right. Oh, hey, the place Pauly. to be. Right. Polly C. in the place to be. Did he find his shoes? <laughs> I think so. Uh, is he feeling better? Because I know he, he wasn't uh, Yeah, he hasn't been, He hasn't been feeling too good. Well, I thought I might have saw him here today. I was. You were hoping to see Polly yeah, C. There, see there, yeah. I was hoping to see him, too. Do I add to the mix? Right, right. Right? No, I agree. Paulie is great on the radio. Let's welcome Paulie C. Oh. All right. Are you ready, Scumpy? Paulie Bigger Donuts. Yeah. All right. Let's put the mood on. <laughs> We're going to go with the New York Jets with the Cleveland Browns. Oh, boy. The New York Jets or the Cleveland Browns. Oh boy! Oh boy! This might take a little while. Those both are. Uh, this might take a little while. Not very good teams over the history. Right. Hmm. Remember when Sanchez that year ran into his own running back's ass? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll it's, never forget that. <laughs> yes, yeah, it, it, it sounds like it. J E T S. Stop! 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 I still hate the Jets. Yeah. Wasn't that on like a Thanksgiving game? I think it was. Oh, I don't know. I probably. If you remember it, huh? Yeah. Because how often do you watch the Jets game? Right. No <laughs> kidding. Unless they're playing the Patriots, right? I like. How does that? How do you not see the guy's ass? <laughs> right. I don't know. Ran right into his ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his head almost went up his ass. Last uh, couple of years rebuilding. They're getting and, up and, there. And, and, what uh, are they getting up? Where and, are they uh, getting up? And uh, they're going to be a force. <laughs> we had a lot of rookies the last you know, few years. Really and, name uh, one. Uh, uh, my, a my, guy named uh, uh, Mike uh, Gonzalez. Yeah, okay. <laughs> remember those the new, days. The new, the new quarterback, Mike Gonzalez yeah. of the New York Jets. My oh, they friend, were going to be a real force. My friend said you called it uh, the butt fumble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, let me see what he said. Uh, I'll tell you, though. You remember Moose? He was the biggest Jets fan you can imagine. He really was. J-E-T-S! Stop, stop, stop! And we still hate him. The Jets, that is. All right, let's do it, Scumpy. What um, do we got? The Browns or the Jets? I'm going to see what my friend says. I'm going to go based I'm, on him. The Browns answers. have never won a Super Bowl. I'm going to go. I'm going to either, you know. And the Jets have won. Uh, right. The Jets have won. Now, is that a trick? Because even though they've never been... Right. I'm going to say the Cleveland Browns. Mm. I'm going to say the Cleveland Browns. I wish my friend would respond. All right. I. Oh. Well, there's a little delay on Facebook, too, so... All right. I'm going to go with the Jets. Okay. You're going to go with the Jets? Yeah. I'm going with the Cleveland Browns. What do we have, Scump? And the correct answer is the Cleveland Browns. Uh, mm. I should have went with the Browns. What was I thinking? They're both under 50% in their history. Really? Yeah. Now, how do you see those teams doing this year? Actually, I think the Browns are going to be actually pretty decent. Really? Yeah. Why? What makes you say that? They they were pretty decent last year, and they, they picked up some... Uh, Okay. Some real good players. And the Jets also pick, have been doing some rebuilding. They have. Well, they've been rebuilding since 1969. No, but, uh, uh, they, they have some old broken Steelers on their team now, correct? They do. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I See, yeah. I pay attention. That's right. They do. Some broken. They got the Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> some broken Steelers. All right. Uh, are we ready to continue the madness here this morning? All right. What's the score now? You're killing me here. Well, I have five and you have two. Ah. Oh. And you had the first two. Yeah, I think that will be the only two. I just came back and kicked ass, that's all. That's what I do on Thursdays, folks. Five in a row. That karate chop. But you were the you were the defending champion from last week. No, I think I was. No, okay. you remember? Because he, he got that winning point. I crushed he got everybody. The tiebreaker? Yeah, the tiebreaker one, because we were tied for the longest time. I win every week. Matt's not here. Yeah. All right. Right. Now, what is it now? What do we have now? Okay. Oh, you haven't done one yet, right? No. All right, Scumpy, let us have it. 
the Giants at baseball, San Francisco Giants. The baseball, okay, not Giants. to be confused with the New York Giants. Correct. And, or the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right. What is it? The the uh, okay Dodgers. And both the of these, both of these. Yeah, actually, the Dodgers started with the Brooklyn Brooklyn Dodgers. Right, and these, that's included too. And the Giants were the New York Giants, actually. Really. Oh crap! And then they moved to San Francisco, and the Dodgers were Brooklyn, and they moved to. I'm going to go with the Dodgers. Oh, uh, me too, they both, because uh, my family. been around since 19, 18, 1883. My, my family's from Brooklyn, and that was my grandfather's favorite team. Oh, okay. So just does he know? Does he know? Of, uh, does he know Brooklyn Mike's family? Who? Your grandfather. He's deceased. Right, but does that, do you have any <laughs> family in Brooklyn still? Uh, I don't think so. Did you ever go to Brooklyn Mike's Pizza Shop while you were in Brooklyn? Oh man, I'd love to go there. Right. I've been to a Brooklyn because I had a Sicilian pie somewhere in Brooklyn. My mom brought me to. I don't remember the name. I've never been in Brooklyn. Really? Really? No. I, I've have been. You? Oh yeah. I've, I've been, been in the Bronx. Okay. My, I have some family from the Bronx as well. And I've uh, well, it's New York City, but. Well, yeah, it's one of the boroughs of New York City. Actually, the only reason I went to the Bronx is I had to deliver something. I bet I you did. Hey, we truck. don't need to talk about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> keep that on the down low. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go with the Dodgers just based on the You're going to both, fam family going history Dodgers? here. We both went with the Dodgers. Well, you can't catch up if you both take the same thing. I don't need to catch up. She does. And I the do. correct answer is the Giants. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seems like when you when you both pick the same thing, you're both wrong. Well, you know what? I just realized I just suck at this game. <laughs> no, well, you're doing you're uh, doing well. You are you're doing better than you think. Mm, right, you right. are. No, this is this is you're doing good. You're doing. You're well. trying to make me feel better. About I myself. I know. Well, that's what I try to do to everybody. Thanks I, for the pep talk, Peter. You know, I let Scumpy come come on and play this game. All right. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Here okay. Go. Good morning to John Clayton. Good morning, John. All right. Uh, Von Humboldt still sitting in there, and uh, Don T. Tibbetts playing along at home. All right, Scumpy. What do you have? Are you waiting for the? Uh... Yeah, I'm. Um, you know. I know, right? Okay. This is where I'm going to do the turnaround. Okay. Is okay. this it? Yeah. All right. You oh. have uh, you have about 19 minutes. Okay. Old old teams here too. The Cincinnati Reds. Ooh, Johnny Bench. Or the Pittsburgh Pirates. Willie Stargell. Both teams started in 1882. Oh, my God. Really? That's a long time ago. Yeah. It's like, Christ, 19 now. Right. It's like 300 years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think George Washington was alive. I don't know about that, but. No. Yeah, he's, he's a, it he wasn't was, too far after he, he was, Lincoln, though. Yeah, mm. he was the first pitcher. I'm going to go with the uh, Cincinnati Reds. You went with the Reds? Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm going to I'm gonna have to go with the Pirates this time, Scumpy, just to change it up a little bit. And the correct answer mm -hmm. is the Cincinnati Reds. Yes! Priscilla gets it. I told you. My Priscilla turnaround. gets it. Very good. Very good. You know, Very it's good. unbelievable that they've been around since 1882, right? Okay. And it's one thousandth of a point difference in their wow. winning percentage. It's... Point five oh five to point five oh four. Wow. Wow. So that might be changed depending on who won last night. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. Do you remember the Nashua Pirates? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went to a few of those games. Too bad. I used to take my son this really good baseball, yeah, when he was a little kid, yeah. Oh, okay. Over uh, over there at Holman Stadium in yeah, Nashua. Nashua. All right. Very good. You know, Barry Bonds actually played over there before. Oh, great. Barry Bonds. Yeah. All time home run hitter. Wow. <laughs> with an he, asterisk on his... Well, they'll uh, never get in the Hall of Fame with it, but... Right, right. Because first of all, you know, you see a squatty little kid coming into the league, and he goes out of the league looking like a, a big, giant hulk of a man. He did, too. Same with uh, McGuire. I know. He was just a little skinny kid. Too. Mark McGuire was on the U.S. Olympic team uh, the summer of whatever, 80-something, yeah. and he was just a little tiny kid. Yeah, right. Then he turned into a monster. Monster. <laughs> a monster. Steroids, man. Steroids. A monster. All right, Scumpy. What do you got? Okay. I'll never get sick of that. No. I don't think I would either. Okay. Okay, Scumpy. Oh, you need the music? 
Is that what you're just waiting for? <laughs> it, it's just... You need it, right? It's a mood. Okay, Scumpy. Okay. I try to... Uh, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, then. The Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. But the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, see, I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Just for that, I'm going to go with the Red Wings. Okay, this is it. This is good. Oh, boy. And the correct answer is... What is the correct answer? <laughs> the Detroit Red Wings. Yes! See? <laughs> wow. She's coming back now. I'm coming back. You, Fierce. All right. Uh, Priscilla with four. I have five. Oh, boy. And this is getting... This is when it doesn't even matter what we're playing. Like, you right. know, sports, music, it whatever. Doesn't. It's just you gotta... You really want to win. It right. does. All right. Um, let's see what we have here. Scumpy, are you ready? For the I am. All right. All right. One more time. Maybe two. The Minnesota Twins. All right. Or the Kansas City Royals. Ooh. I'm going to go with the Minnesota Twins. Thank you very much. The Minnesota Twins. Hmm. That's right. I would have to say the same. Oh, oh boy. You could have caught up on that one. Oh, she lost? Because it is the Kansas City Royals. Well, all at right. least Peter doesn't get the point either. <laughs> right. No, it's five, it's five to four. It would have yeah. been all tied up. Oh, I know. I should have went opposite. No, but I felt... Well, maybe I, didn't you one. feel like it was going to be the Penguins? I don't know. It just felt like it. Well, yeah. But the Detroit had that... With the... the they had a winning season for like 24 years in a row or something. 24 years? All right, yeah. I'll tie up with it. I'm going to tie up with this New one. York City. <laughs> <laughs> he says this house is made in New York City. <laughs> New York City. All right. What are we waiting for All now? Right, I'm going to tie up on this one, okay? All right. Okay. okay. Let's do it. We'll go with the Carroll's team this time. Carroll's team. The Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. Or the Los Angeles Rams. I'm going to go with the Eagles. I'm going to go with the Rams. I'm going to go with the Rams. <laughs> and the correct answer is the Los Angeles Rams. No! Yeah. Really? All right. Yeah. Howdy, people. thought you were going to make the comeback. I thought, you know what? I thought the Eagles would have better stats than that. I had friends that were, right. you know, fans of that team. Because in New Jersey, you could either be friends with, you know, fans of the Eagles, or uh, Jets. Giants. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Scumpy. What are okay. we waiting for now? Here's a real good one here. Uh, is it really good, though? Yes, because these teams have been rivals and rivals for a long, long time. Okay. And it is the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics. Or the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, boy. That's it. Oh, a... I'm going to go with the Lakers. Really? You're going to yeah. go with the Lakers? Well, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to have to... You know what? I'm just going to have to go with the Celtics. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to have to go with the... Tell me I get a point on this one, Scumpy. You got a point. Yes! Oh, boy. The Lakers. Too bad it wasn't a tie I, point. See, I <laughs> never would have went with the Lakers because the Celtics had like 13, 11 championships in 13 years at one point. Right, but then again, the, then the Celtics didn't do anything for a little while, and, and the, the Lakers, Lakers were here. Cracking. Yeah, so... But they still don't have the championships so. Right. No, absolutely. All right. So it is now six to five, Priscilla. You are you have managed I to know. stay relevant in this game of sports. <laughs> I, I know. Here this morning. Surprisingly. Yeah, you're hanging <laughs> in. My father would be proud. Well, that's good. Good. <laughs> so there might be time for a comeback still. Yes, because what time? Wait. Well, oh, yeah. we got some time left. Oh, yeah. So here we go. All righty then. Lay it on me, Scumpy. Let's get the we'll time lay point on here. You. The Utah Jazz. Well, the San Antonio Spurs. I'm going to go with the San Antonio Spurs. That's what I wanted to go with. I, I'm going to say the same. All right, that's yeah, the same. You're both correct. So All that's right, a wash. There you go. So at least you didn't lose one there. Exactly. Well, All right. Well. Actually, the, the Spurs have the uh, the top percentage in all of the uh, NBA winning percentage. 
Really? Oh, really? You would never think that. No. Uh, I knew that. I, I never, never, never I would have thought people it would have been the Lakers really, or the Celtics for sure. Yeah, nobody even really <laughs> talks about them, I feel. Right. I don't know. Uh, oh, PM Dawn. I like this song. Baby, you send me. I don't know the song. Send a drift of memory bliss of you. Maybe I should do this song. Oh, you should. That'd right. be great. I'll, I'll, sing soup the, it up. I'll, I'll sing the lyrics for you. All right. All right, we still got time for a comeback. It's only one point game, right? Oh, boy, one of those things. What are you playing over there? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> doing random things here. All right, let's yeah, okay. do it. Let's do it here. Are you ready, uh, Scumpy? Uh, yes. The New York Knicks. The Knickerbockers. Or the Philadelphia 76ers. Ooh. Okay. Okay, the Knicks are the Sixers. I'm going to go with the Philadelphia 76ers. That's what I'm going. I wanted to say the same, but you know what? Just for the sake of it, I actually auditioned uh, to be a Nick City dancer. Oh, really? Did you really? The cheerleading. But I, I at that time, I, like, I was only like 19. I had like zero confidence. So. Okay. I didn't get that. <laughs> You didn't get it because you had zero confidence. Yeah, well, going for auditions. Yeah, now I now, now you, I kill it. Now you kill it. <laughs> yeah. Um, either way, um, I'm just gonna go with the Knicks. And I said, tell me, tell me, it's a tying point, there, Scump. It is not a tying oh. point. It's a two point lead for Peter White, and maybe with ten point. minutes left. You just can't. You just can't uh, get over the hump there. But that's I all right. I just can't get enough. All right. All right. Here we go. You got time. You got I time. I know. I got ten minutes. Time. I, I, I got to do these quick now. Okay. <laughs> okay. We don't have to do them quick. We no. can take our time. We can. Oh, look <laughs> at that feather. Did you see that? I feel like uh, in Forrest Gump. Maybe that's all right. Maybe that's a good luck thing for me. Maybe it is. Maybe that's a sign. You saw a feather outside the window. Yeah, just a feather in the wind. Yeah. Alrighty then. The Baltimore slash Indianapolis Colts. Okay. Or the Denver Broncos. Okay. I'm going to go with the Colts. I'll go with the uh, stupid Broncos. The stupid Broncos. Never a Bronco fan, huh? Nah. Me either. Never a big fan all the way. But anyways. Yeah. what's the answer, Tell me that's Stumpy? a point. The correct answer is the Denver Broncos. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Take your it. stupid point with your stupid I will. Broncos. <laughs> I am now three points ahead. Oh, man. And I definitely, yeah. Just wow. when I thought I was catching up, too. Yeah, you were right. almost there. And almost I saw the there. feather. I thought it was something. Well, I mean, I'm a nice guy, though. At least I'm not like, you know, I, I don't throw it in your face and I'm beating you by three points. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, boy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. All right, Von Humboldt still hanging in there. The Buffalo Bills or the Detroit Lions? Ooh, I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the Lions. I'll go with the Buffalo Bills then. What do you say about that? What do you say about that? Um, I don't know. I'm saying... Okay. It is the Buffalo Bills. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a way for Peter to answer. Boy, points. he just like Four points slam ahead. dunking it. No. Four points ahead, everybody. Oh, wow. I know you're witnessing something awesome right now on the radio. <laughs> and you cannot believe it. I know. I know. All right. Wow. I'm feeling good. Good morning to Randy Kelly in the Facebook live room. All right. Wow, you Peter, you're just uh, running away with are this. We, are we done here? I think, well, I mean, I mean is there any no, way? There's no coming back now. There's, there's no time. coming back. Well, nice try, oh. Priscilla. You did a great oh. job. Oh. No, you did, a, you did a fine job. Let's hear it for uh, Priscilla here. Yeah, you know at least, I mean? you yeah. know what? That's two, two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks of losing. Oh, wait. Last week, it was just, it was <laughs> very close, Peter. Okay, it, it, it was won close. By, one point. Yeah, I think I won by one a, point. Yeah, it was like the last I, question. I, it, of it's, yeah. been, it's been a while, though, since I've really been beaten good. Like, I think Matt got me one day. One time. One time. You I had think. that real good comeback one week, too. Probably the greatest comeback in morning show history, I, I like to call I it. I remember Lenny had a real good comeback one day, too. Well, yeah, he did. I remember that also. Yeah. Very good. Very All good. Right. So now what do we do? Now what do we do? <laughs> 
Hey, I want to remind I, everyone to uh, <clears throat> come on downtown today. It's going to be a real uh, great uh, summer day downtown. You have in town Manchester's uh, Community Farmers Market in front of the Double Tree Hotel. They're also having their summer music steer- series begins tonight over at Veterans Park. You can check out Foreigner's Journey. And if you need a lift around town, you want to go to check out uh, this the trolley tour tonight. So you can check out the entire downtown area as the trolley makes loops uh, throughout all your favorite stops. And you've done the trolley tour before. I have done you the trolley. You actually tro- hosted it, right? Yes, uh, Joel and I did uh, right. a couple years ago. And you had to... Um we, we basically had to, uh, it was like a tour of Manchester, but we had a you script. You had a little microphone and you read. Right, right. But you know what? We had fun when we did it, but I wanted other people to have fun, so we, we, we let other people do it after that. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. But uh, it was great. You got to see a lot of people. That's how I met uh, Ben Dion. I think one of the first times I met him was during the trolley tour. No kidding. Yeah, I think so. And Daryl's going to be on here tonight. Uh, yes. Doing everything left-handed. Yes, Daryl Dion will make his uh, broadcast uh, return to radio tonight on the weekly Dion at uh, 6 p.m. right here on WMNH, and that's following Matt Connerton's Unleashed in the Afternoon. Does anyone know where Easy G is? No, Easy G. Has anyone even seen him around town? He's on the lam. Right. (laughs) He's either mad at us or he's really a... He's done this before, though. Yeah, but I, I, I remember there were times back when. Uh, but he when said Joel he was, was coming. Show, he would just go missing for like months. Right, so he well, does that, a disappearing act. That one yeah. time he did. I've yeah, done, I've yeah. done that before. You just disappear for months. Yeah, P- I, even though I live right here in town, people won't even see me. Really, you, you just yeah. live right here. In th- we're down, down this way, or? Yeah, I l- I live above McGarvey. Oh, do you really? Mm-hmm. Does that get? You can't, well, you can't e- get any more convenient than that. Get, that's easy to get to work. <laughs> just, yeah, right. right. Well, I literally roll out of bed and get to work. Yeah. Now, now, what about on karaoke nights over there? Can you hear no, them? No, you your... don't hear any of that. I, I luck out. You don't hear because uh, of where my actual studio is. But um, sometimes, well, obviously, if they're doing the music, well, I'm, I'm usually working the block party anyway. So right on Sunday. But at night, you barely hear that either because if it's in the winter time, I got the storm windows down, and then. Um, in the summer, I got the air conditioner going and the TV, so you really no, can't you hear kinda, anything. Are you kind of in the back of the building? Yeah. yeah. Why do you middle. need to know her exact location, I know. Scumpy? I'm going to stop her. Right. What window is yours? Yes, which window? <laughs> which one's going to be unlocked? Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd go buy some shades today. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Put the blinds so, yeah. Well, yeah, you know what? I have the black blinds. I... Oh, the the, the uh, shade that keep the sunlight out. Is yeah. It, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm like a I vampire. Which door do I go in? Is it in the? <laughs> well, good thing it's a locked building. Yeah. <laughs> it's a secured building. Well, yeah, they they should be down here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's no doorman though. Huh? No. <laughs> they may be looking. For, maybe you can be the doorman. Well, yeah. Carlton, the door, the doorman. <laughs> you could be like after you. Yeah, after you come on in. Cause that's welcome the, home. That's a big job in New York in all those apartments. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The door, man. All right. You got the security and whatnot. Yep. All right. Stefan Philbrook with an update saying Easy has been missing since he threatened Peter with pain, uh, with pain on Matt's show. My question is, what did Peter do with Easy? I didn't do anything to him. I uh, I just said he was a no call, no show, on Monday, and then again on Tuesday. And that's all. Well, hello, guys. I know. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Someone find out. And he's usually the first one to call every morning. Maybe Matt uh, this afternoon. Uh, Matt might hunt him down. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We maybe don't you'll know. see him at the farmer's market. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, hope I, I hope I can let this one go. I'm going to go over to uh, Creamland, I think, and get me uh, some clamps tonight. See if I'm going to go over to Goldenrod, get myself a uh, clam plate, and then drive over to Creamland and eat it, it, in, eat the it par- in the parking lot. In the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're feeling ill, like Polly C, pop in a convenient MD. I might as well give them a plug. We're going right. to say. Because hey. I'm in one of the commercials. We're gonna, we're gonna go say, to convenient MD. We're going <laughs> to say goodbye to 